in handstand push-up guy. And so that, that began John's lifelong uh, infatuation with push-ups, push push handstands, and, and so on. Or, we could, you know, it was a big shot in the arm anyways. Um, John is not Jesus. I will say that. He's just not quite meek enough. He has the same volatile, um, uh, aggressive, uh, you know, not a, not in a evil way, but uh, this, the, kind of that Winslow um, Pap fuse of being pretty highly competitive and so on. Uh, the guys at the Athletic Club of Columbus, where we used to play basketball um, years back, uh, you know, called called us Conan the Barbarian and the Terminator. And um, I don't know who was who, but uh, the rule, the standing rule was we always guarded each other. And, um, you know, it was it was kind of a, a rough or different game that day. And the funny thing for me is when I would guard John, I was always kind of amazed at how, how physical he was, how he was clearly fouling most of the time. And, um, and, you know, come on, we're not playing rugby. We're not playing football. This is just a friendly game of basketball. You know, back off. And the funny thing is, um, I think John, it, it, based on conversations, body language, and and the game itself, I, I think John had the same feeling. We we mostly weren't uh, accustomed to running into ourselves out there on the basketball court. And and while we love to play aggressively and get a lot of rebounds and play tough defense and and be persistent gnats to other people, uh, neither of us really liked it when when uh, we had the, that own medicine. Although I think we had a begrudging. Uh, respect there. Um, anyway, apparently we both took to heart dad's stories of basketball and, and the key, um, the key note of the story is it's all about desire and hustle. And there's other people out there who think they want the ball and they think they're going for the rebounds. And it seems important to them until they run into you and, and understand that it's your ball. And you're going to fight for it harder and hustle faster. And and they're not going to get it, you know, because you're in the way and you've decided, foregone conclusion, I'm going to take this ball. And I think that kind of applies to life. And I, I can't think of anybody who really embodies that more than John in terms of just sheer desire, hustle, determination um, to, to really seize control of his life and, and make, make a lot of uh, great things out of it. So... Um, Anyway, John's always been going after the ball and and hustling and, and pushing himself and and uh, I I feel blessed that he took it upon himself to kind of set me on that path. <laughs> so um, so John, cheers to you! Thank you so much for everything. <laughs> You've been a fabulous brother. <laughs> Gotta go.